Hey YouTubers, Mustang Rebuilder here. Hey, it's uh, you know what day it is, it's Sunday like I normally make a video every now and then on Sundays. Today's going to be kind of different. Um, I'll show you about this light stand I made really cheap for my shop. It can be used to make YouTube videos or just when you're working on a car um, as an extra light stand. Something unusual. Plus, I'm going to show you the, one of the saws I used and do it quick, quick review on the saw in case somebody likes it or, or, or has ever thought about it. We saw it first at a farm show and then um, about six months later we were at a welding supply house and they were having a sale on these. They're about 230 bucks, something like that. You might find it online cheaper or maybe a little bit more, but it's a cold cut saw, okay? Normally I have a big 12 or 14 inch friction cutting, uh, steel cutting saw, chop saw, like most people would call them and uh, this one here uses a, a carbide blade and it's called a cold cut saw and it only makes chips it doesn't it makes a few little sparks but it makes chips kind of like you would see um, look like miniature wood chips but they're steel anyway I'll turn this around and I'll show you real quick I got a piece of two inch pipe that's eighth inch thick and I'll cut it show you how I cut it and then I'll tell you a little bit about the light. I'll make this real quick. Okay, this is your smaller saw. They make a big one like a big chop saw. But this one here, my brother just wanted to gift it to me while we were at the weld welding supply place. He said, hey, which one you want? The big one or the small one? I already had a big one, so I said, hey, I don't want you to spend a lot of money. So he bought me this one. This one here uses a seven and a quarter inch blade. It's made by Evolution. And... It has the specs on here what it will cut. It'll cut two by two, eighth inch thick, it'll cut two by four, and it'll cut round stock, eighth inch. And this pipe you see here is actually left over from a stump job. It used to have concrete on it. I smashed the end off it off, uh, the concrete off. And this is an old pipe to where those galvanized pipes, they used to, on the old fences, were really, really heavy steel and, and really, lasted the test of time. Probably this pipe's probably 30, 40, 50 years old. Anyway, um, it has an adjustment. You can make angle cuts. I'm not gonna go real depth about the saw because there's a bunch of other videos on, on YouTube about it. I'm gonna tell you, I'm just gonna make a quick cut, see what it, show you what it does, then do this one-handed, and yes, I do have safety glasses on. <laughs> Thing about like this saw, look, I just cut it, I got my hands on it, okay, I'm not burning, and I, if I would have cut it with my friction saw over there, I would just would have been I, I, hot, 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 but hey, it's no problem, see, I could put that next to my face, not that I want to, but anyway, you see how thin it cut it, now, that's the saw, it's well worth the money, I just do smaller stuff with it, cuts it fast, and what I'm using for in my shop is I'm cutting a bunch of conduct for the to run the power around my walls that I'm finishing out. So, I mean, if you're cutting, uh, I'll tell you what, this will cut odds and ends stuff to where I've even cut a railroad, uh, steel railroad tie with this and it cut it like nothing. You know, I just don't press this all hard, but it goes straight through real smooth. Anyway, and then you'll see the tips I was talking about. This is what it puts out, the little bitty chips, okay? Easy to vacuum up, clean up, and if I was using the other one, I'd turn it the other way because I'd be shooting sparks like if it's a freaking Marvel uh, Avenger movie. Anyway, back uh, what I've been lighting the project up with, I'll turn off the light so you can see it, but it's the light that's projecting on there, and so that way you can see it. It's called a UFO light, okay? Bought it off of Amazon, you probably find them on eBay. This one here is a 200 watt, and it's 20,000 lumens, okay? And it comes in 100 watt, there's all different ones. The 100 watts are, I think, are 10,000 lumens. And they have all the specs when you try to buy, when you click on it, it'll show you. But this one here is a 200, they go all the way up to 300, and the 300 water is gonna put you out 30,000 lumens. And um, originally I was gonna light the shop up with it, but I found a cheaper way, these LEDs. I got in another video. But anyway, this one, I had it laying around, and I said, well, what the hell am I gonna do with it? Well, 
I had that pipe from a stump grinding job sitting in the yard after I picked it up. And what I did was, did a brake job for my son. That's his front brake rotor. The two inch pipe fit right in the center of the hole. I welded it up around and I used the pipe fence pipe. And then I went and got a metal uh, light socket. Oh, no. Yeah, recept, excuse me, recept uh, holder, and then I got, uh, I put it both, I put a recept with a switch on it, so that way I could turn it on, and then all I did was use some flat leftover steel I found laying around the shop, put the bracket on it, you could pull a pin here, and this will just up or down, or straight up, and this is how bright the stupid light is, I'll give you a better idea here, you know, give me a second here, Man, lights off to the shop, you can see. I tell you what, these would really work really well outside if you were working. And I like it inside because I could put it next to a car. And instead of having a normal drop light, I could put lights into the engine bay and light it up. I'm getting older, I need all the light I can freaking see. You know, like this one using a chop saw, I could put it right over the top of the saw. And, and really makes a difference when I'm, I can look at my measurements and everything like that. Anyway, this thing cost, this light here cost me 45 bucks off of Amazon. I think the 100 watt, which is 10,000 lumens, is about 35 bucks. You might find it cheaper, search around, you know, Amazon, deep in Amazon, or later on into um, eBay. Who knows, Alibaba, AliExpress, you might find it there too. But anyway, so this is my uh, stand light and uh, used a tall pipe that was at a corner of a piece of property, cut off the concrete end of it and there I have it there and I put a recep on the end of it with a switch on it and then oh, had two pieces of small little pieces of rebar that I had laying around. I cut them, put one at one angle, put another one at another angle and I wrapped the this right here is an old extension cord that had an end ripped off that someone was throwing out. I found it and shoot, I got 50 feet to move it around the shop. So I would honestly say what I have in it is about 50 bucks, 55 bucks. If you had to buy an extension cord, you know, you're probably out of about, who knows, 75 bucks total in this whole stupid ass thing. And you know, you could always go buy somebody's mechanic shop and find a, an old disc. Uh, get one from a truck, it'll be bigger. That one's off a little Toyota Scion. Get one that's a little bigger around, and um, this thing's real stable because the pipe's real heavy, okay? But it'd also be easier for someone at home to cut it with anything uh, lighter, even a, a sawzall or hacksaw. If you got the newer fence pipe you can get from Lowe's or Home Depot, it'd be really thin wall. And you know, it's just a, I had this stuff laying around. I made it in about an hour, honestly. About last Saturday, it was pouring rain outside, so I got crap laying around. Might as well put it together, and make some. The saw here, once again, great saw. I'd buy it if I was you. There's a couple of lookalikes. They'd probably be fine too if you're not using it every dang day. Anyway, that's it for the video today. Uh, no, you know what? It's Sunday once again. God bless. Get in your shop. Enjoy yourself, or just enjoy your family, huh? See you later.